Hey guys, welcome back to Javon Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're back for a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out straight for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the AMD RX 570 4GB VRAM graphics card. We're running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM in dual channel memory mode. And as you can see, the game is finally running quite nicely, as you can see. So basically, um, I had to delete my config file for the game to actually show about with the correct colors. We were having issues the first time with a, a brightness glitch. It's running fine now. I have the game capped to 60 FPS because it's not going to matter in a minute once we get out of here. But as you can see, we are running on the high preset. I'm trying not to do too much that might mess up the graphical settings again and then make me cry. Because that would suck if it's too bright again. I... Honestly, I think I already messed it up, and I think that we're having issues right now, but I'll hope for the best. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. I just felt like I needed to put back out this video once again, just letting you guys know that, hey, the brightness glitch isn't there anymore. That was probably because I tried to run it with the Intel HD 4600, and there were issues in the compatibility error. That's all it was. But it works now. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I'm just going to mute myself because the game runs fine. Um, actually, I will get into it when we get into some gameplay, but I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm sorry, I got my MI afterburner a bit low, and I forgot to raise back it so that you could see it better, but hey. Use them eyes, guys. Use them eyes. Alright, so it does run fine, though. It is showing that the colors are great now. Everything is fun, but as you can see, we are struggling to maintain 60 FPS. The game is not optimized as you would like it to be obviously as I've said before uh, I, I will leave I actually figured out another way to get the game run to run even lower end I will put that out as well it's gonna be fun it's gonna be crazy but nonetheless 1080p high settings we're not getting a constant 60 here at some areas but I think I'll leave it at 60 I don't know if the frame ca I heard the frame capping issue can be an issue I want to get into the gameplay before I decided to frame to change the frame cap because I don't want to record this again <laughs> in case it does mess up. So if it does mess up, at least you'll know, hey, don't change it from 60. Not that we need to, considering we're struggling. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and do all that jazz. Holy crap, this game is only using 3 gigs of RAM. But that's because I have a GPU, in case you're wondering. That's not for integrated graphics. For integrated graphics, it uses over 10 gigs of RAM. And it keeps building as you keep going. Okay, so let me start here. Let's see what's happening. 1080p. Okay, okay, here we go. 45 FPS. Wow. That is demanding. That is absurdly demanding. I don't even need... To, yeah, I don't even need it to uh, drop off the res... Drop off the res then. In some areas, I can barely get 50 FPS. I'm a meow like a cat, do. I'm a meow like a cat do. I'm a run true. Game looks nice though. These are the struggles we get, man. It's tw it's 2022. You can't run games on, on high settings and on RX 570 anymore at 1080p. It's just not a thing. And it goes over 60 for the most part. It's not a thing anymore, apparently. Even for a cat game. So it don't even look that damn good. We're using 3 gigs of VRAM too. At least that's 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 nice because everything is apparently 1080p low is look at them birds fly 1080p low is the new norm and that's already 4 gigs of RAM so VRAM so I'm happy for that but this is nice I like this I like this quite a lot I'm a cat meow boy meow you see that see how he just jumped over there like that wanna see me do it again <laughs> 
Anyway, if you guys want to see more content like this where I post these videos and show you guys how they run on the channel, stick around and hit that subscribe button. I post a lot of these constantly every day. It's really rough on me, man. I post a lot of content. I'm trying to let you guys know, hey, can we run this? Can you not? I don't know. So it's hovering around is it like 45 FPS on average. That's literally on average because it's it hits there more. We do have a little bit of stutter every once in a while. It's not too bad, at least here. It's not too bad, but there is stutter. But other than that, the game runs fine at high. Like I said, I'm scared to change the settings, but for, you know, the benchmarker in me will. I don't know what will happen once I do, so brace yourselves, but I mean, does that even work? I don't know. Alright, so a medium preset. We can do 60. Oh, well, for the most part, 1080p medium is a more of a 60 FPS experience. It's kind of insane when I think about that. 1080p medium is more 60, because I was going to change some th things to high, but no, 1080p medium seems to be quite nice. It seems to hold itself together. I don't know how it holds itself together in the cities, but you know. And we probably won't ever get there in these videos, but you know. If someone wants me specifically to do the city, I will, but. Don't hold your breath. I'll see you guys next time. I got more straight videos coming out today, so stay tuned for those. If you really want to know how to run this on low-end hardware, man, I am going to push it to the bare minimum. I'll see you guys next time.